Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Um, so we've kind of been snowed in here in NC um, for a couple of days. Every time we think it's going to quit snowing, it just snows again. So it's been delightful. If you didn't know, I hate snow. I hate snow. Anyways, I figured since we've been snowed in for a few days, maybe I will do an at home workout for you guys. Um, so I'm just going to start out actually at my house. Um, we have a treadmill, so I'm just going to do like 20 minutes of cardio or something. And then I'm going to do an at home booty and ab workout for you guys. So hopefully this will help you guys out. If you don't have a gym, if you can't get to the gym, um, you know, if you only have like a couple of minutes to work out, it makes it a lot easier to be able to do something like this at home. So, I'm going to do that for you guys today. And then um, I have a surprise that I'm going to announce at the end. So, stay tuned. I'm really excited about it. All right. So, we're going to start off this workout by doing a couple of regular kickbacks. Um, I use some weighted bands on my ankles. Um, it's really good to invest in something like this. They're very cheap. You can buy them on Amazon for a couple of dollars. And it really allows you to be able to get that extra little pump in your workouts at home. So, I definitely suggest investing in this. I did three sets of 15. Then we moved on to what I like to call like rainbow kicks. Um, pretty much you're going to lower your foot on one side, lower it on the other in kind of a rainbow motion. And you're going to do that for three sets of 15 again. Now, the slower and more controlled that you do these kicks, and I speed it, sped up this video um, to kind of make it not so long for you guys. But the slower you and controlled you do these kicks, the more it's going to burn. Um, again, the ankle weights come in handy with an exercise like this, and you're just going to move your leg from side to side in a rainbow motion, and one side to the other side and back is going to be one rep with three reps of 15 for this exercise. Moving on to the fire hydrants with a side kick. Now I wanna tell you guys that fire hydrants are amazing for the glutes, let me tell you. Even just using body weight is amazing. Um, but the extra side kick is going to really give you that burn and that pump. Again, we did three sets of 15 uh, with my ankle weights, but it's also great with body weight. Now I just took a um, band that I tied to a post in my house and I did a couple of hip thrusts. I did three sets of 15 of those and I really highly suggest finding something like this cheap on Amazon because there are so many exercises you can do with this band. Taking the same band, I took the little hand grips that you would normally use for your arms, stuck my foot in it, and I am doing some upward kickbacks, and these really work the glutes. It's one of my favorite exercises. I did three sets of 15 on each leg, and I can feel the results today, you guys, and today is the day after. Moving on to our ab portion of the workout, I just kind of did some side um, cross body crunches. Um, and you're going to do three sets of 15 on each side. These are really going to target your side, lower, and uh, abdominals. Make sure that you keep your core tight. And then we moved on to uh, some leg ups with a little pulse in between. So you see my back coming off the floor. That extra pulse is going to give you a little bit more of a burn, little bang for your buck. And yeah, just keep the core tight. Moving on, I did some side planks with crunches. You're going to reach your arm all the way up above your head and bring it down to your knee. And we did it on both sides. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that workout. Uh, I know I did feel the burn. Anyways, <laughs> so the exciting news that I was going to tell you about, dun, 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 I am going to be doing a 12 days Christmas for you guys. So basically what 12 days of Christmas is, is a YouTube thing. I don't know um, if you see other YouTubers do it. A lot of people do it, but I decided it's going to be my first year of 
12 Days of Christmas on YouTube for me. And I've got, you know, some DIYs for you guys. I got some cool crafts. I got some cool meals. I got a couple of cool things going on. Yeah. And so actually I was going to add my Asheville vlogs into the 12 Days of Christmas, but because of the snow, we were not able to go. So it's very sad, but I am going to come up with something just as exciting. Well, as exciting as I can think of for you guys uh, to make up for not going to Asheville, which <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so tune back in. I'm going to start December 14th. I'll have my first video up, and it's going to go December 14th through the 25th. And then I have a special New Year's Eve video that I want to do. Christmas is the best time of the year to YouTube because I'm going to literally fill this thing with a bunch of crap for you guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you tune back in December 14th for my first day of the 12 days of Christmas. And yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic holiday. I hope you guys get everything that you want for Christmas, gifts, uh, seeing family. Um, you know, I hope that this holiday really brings you closer to yourself. I hope that it makes you um, really appreciative of what you have. Um, and just know, guys, that um, I love you. Um, and I really hope that if there's anything that you want to know about or any questions that you have for me or anything that you're going through, if you just want to comment below, um, I would love to comment back to you guys. Um, and as always, thank you so much for staying with me. And I hope to see you on December 14th. All right. Bye, guys.